Hi, I'm Travis. Travis Cartman. You see the little girl behind me? That's Cassie, my little sister. You know, it's funny to think just a few years earlier, we'd my sister happy. We had a home, family, heck, we had no friends. But they don't change when the scientists moved into the town. My family was struggling, money wise. <laughs> We may have been struggling, but we were happy. And that's when we got the knock at the door. Who is that? Well, I'll go find out. Um, may I help you? They told my dad they were offering a 10k reward if he would just come down to their lab and let them run some tests on him. My dad accepted. He was gone for a few weeks. Kids, come down for food! Uh, where's Dad? Oh, he's still at work, honey. Still at work? But he's been working for like ever! I know, honey. I'm sorry, but he'll come back soon, alright? You said that last week. Just when we feared the worst. Huh? He came home. Oh, hey, Dad. It's good you're back. Dad! Oh, Cassie. <laughs> Don't. Oh, but he had changed. Jesus, can I not get a little space? I've been cooped up in a stupid lab for like, what, three weeks? <sighs> Where's dinner? It's still cooking. Are you kidding? I come home after three weeks and can't even get a bite to eat? <sighs> Pathetic. Dad, are you okay? God, yes, Travis, I'm fine. I'm going out to eat. Mom, did I do something wrong? No, of course not, honey. He's just... tired. But I've never seen Dad act like that. I'm sure he's fine. Now come on, help me set the table. Travis? What's up, Cassie? What's wrong with Dad? I don't know, Cassie. But look, it's not your fault, okay? Don't ever think that. Okay. Uh, race to the kitchen. Go! What? No fear! He started developing random, huge outbursts. Uh, hey, Dad? <sighs> what, Travis? We're going to Cassie's dance recital now, remember? Come on! Oh. Yeah, I'm not going. Wait. What? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm not going. You have a problem with that? Well, yeah, Cassie's been practicing for this dance recital for like a month now. You need to be there to cheer her on. Her mother can. That's not my job. Yes, it is. You're a dad for barking out loud. Be there for your daughter. All right. You listen here, Travis. I will not be taking orders from a pup. Do yourself a favor and do not. Tell me what to do. What the hell is wrong with you? You've changed so much after that stupid lab experiment thing. Stupid? <laughs> they changed me for the better. They opened my eyes to how horrible this family is. How could you say that? Shut it! <sighs> he wasn't our dad anymore. Then, that Friday night, fell upon us. <laughs> hot potato, hot potato! Hmm? Ah! Travis, what was that? I don't know what. Stay here, alright? I'm gonna go check. Dad, Mom, is everything okay? Oh my god. <laughs> non-living monster used to be my dad turned to face me eyes sunken in skull deformed my mother's blood dripping down his face <laughs> Cassie! Travis what's going on Cassie oh god <laughs> dad 
Cassie, get behind me. That's not dad anymore. Oh god, what's going on? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh my god. The non-living creatures turned to face me and my sister, and we ran. Come on! And we haven't stopped running since. Travis? I'm kind of tired. You've been walking since 6 a.m. I know, I know. Just a little bit longer, okay? Just until we find some shelter for the night. Why couldn't we have just stayed at the barn we found last night? That place was pretty comfy. <sighs> Because we can't stay anywhere. It's too dangerous. We've talked about this, Cassie. I'm tired of just walking all the time. I'm tired of never settling down anywhere. I, I want a home again. There's no such thing as home anymore. I'm sorry, Cassie, but this is how it's going to be for a while. I'm thirsty. I'm sure I'll find a river or something soon. I'm thirsty now. There's nothing I can do about that right now, Cassie. I promise you, once we find shelter, I'll go out and look for a river. I'll get us some water. Heck, maybe even hunt for some fish. All right? Okay. Good. Now come on. Why do we stop? I heard something. Stay here. Hello? Is anyone there? Show yourself. Okay. I, I think it was a false alarm. Cassie, do you- Cassie! <laughs> Come on. Go. Go. Okay, Travis, I, I think we're safe now. We are not safe until I say we're safe. Now keep moving. Travis, I'm tired. Do you not realize that you could have just gotten us both killed? You need to be more alert. Do not let your guard down for even a second. You hear me? Yes, Travis. Good. Listen, I, I didn't mean to come off as mean, but you don't understand. I just, I want to protect you, but there'll come a time where you have to protect yourself. And I'm trying to teach you how to do that. I know. I'm sorry, Travis. Now, let's get moving. Huh? <laughs> Travis, can we have a break? Sure. I'm gonna look for water, okay? Remember, keep your guard up. Stay safe, alright? I'll be back soon. Come on, there has to be water for around here. Oh. This is even better. Cassie! Cassie! Huh? Guess what? You found water? Guess again. I found us some shelter for the night. Really? Yes! Follow me. Will do. Wow! It's so big! And the flowers are so pretty! 
<laughs> I know you'd like it. But first, I need to scope out the place, so uh, stay here, okay? <laughs> what the hell? The fireplace is still going? How is it still going if nobody's here? Ah! Cassie? Cassie? Cassie, are you out here? Cassie, are you... Get away from her. Take one more step towards me and I'll blow her brains out. Please, don't hurt her. What do you want? Don't tell me what to do, thieves. We're not thieves. We're just looking for shelter. Please. Larry! Yeah. Larry, I heard some commotion. Is everything all- Larry, what do you think you're doing? Let that poor little kid go this instant. Kid? She's a thief. And so is her brother over there. They were going to steal from us, they were going to take all our supplies, and then they were going to kill us. I knew it, and I'm not letting that happen. <sighs> Don't worry, I'm not going to hurt you. Is this true? Were you stealing? No, me and my sister were just looking for shelter. Please, just tell them to let her go, and we'll get out of your hair. Sorry, everything will be okay. <sighs> Larry, let her go. What? But- Ow! <laughs> Thomas! Don't worry, it's okay, I got you. Oh, why you little- Oh, shut it, Larry. You deserved for holding a gun to a little girl's head. But- Save it. <sighs> Don't worry, you two. We're not gonna hurt you. It's just a simple misunderstanding. That's all. Well, that misunderstanding almost just killed my sister. Listen, I know I have no right to say this. But you two are children. You can't survive out there, alone. Why don't you stay with us for a couple nights? We have a spare bedroom. Bree! I... Travis, can we? What? Can we please just stay for a couple of nights? Please, I'm tired of walking. And Brianna seems nice. Brianna is friends with somebody who just almost shot you. Misunderstanding. I guess so, but only for a couple of nights. Yay! <laughs> well, thank you, Brianna. Are you kidding? You're inviting these thieves to stay in our home? Larry, drop that. They're not thieves. Unless you want to sleep on the couch tonight, I suggest a change of tone. <laughs> Come on in. I'll show you around. Yay! <laughs> I'm on you, kid. You better watch your back. I'm not letting you steal from me or my girlfriend. Warm in ages. Cassie, huh? I have a surprise for you. A surprise? For me? A surprise? What kind of surprise? You'll see. I'll be right back. See, Travis? I told you she was nice. Yeah, you did. Travis, this could be a sign, you know? A sign that it's time to stop running, that it's time to settle in somewhere. I think this is the perfect place for it. I think this is home, Travis. Cass. I've returned, and I bear gifts. Yay! Here, Cassie. <laughs> oh, my dog. A teddy bear? For me? It used to be my daughter's, but it's yours now. Thank you so much, Brianna. I love it. Don't think I forgot about you, Travis. What? Here you go, big guy. What? A collar? No, I can't accept this. This is too much. No, no, no. I insist. Now come on, try it on. Uh, okay. Alright. How do I look? Looking pretty snazzy. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, I hope you both like your gifts. Travis, could I talk to you real quick? Oh, yeah, of course. Thanks, follow me. Alright. So, uh, what's up? I just wanted to apologize for uh, how Larry acted earlier. He really isn't like that. He just... 
he got defensive, he thought you were trying to steal from us, and he didn't want me to be hurt. No, it's okay. I understand. I mean, if I heard some two kids breaking into my house, I'd probably assume they were stealing too. I really can't thank you enough for the gifts. I haven't seen Cassie smile that much for a long, long time. <laughs> no problem. I feel a little guilty taking it from your daughter, though. Won't she miss it? Where is she, anyway? She passed away a few days ago. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't know. No, no, it's okay. It's good to let go of it, even though it's hard sometimes. Yeah, I, I know that feeling. All right, what's for dinner? What's going on here? Nothing. I was just talking to Travis. Is that one of my old collars he's wearing? And why is his trashy sister playing with our daughters? Larry, stop! No, that's not her. That's Marissa. <sighs> She's not with us anymore. You need to learn how to let go of the past. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Travis. No, it's okay. I understand. I'm gonna go serve dinner. Rise and shine, sweetie -eyed. Oh. Oh, hey. Breakfast is ready when you're ready. Then we're gonna go do something special. Something special? What are we doing? Well, you'll have to see. Now, wake Cassie up and meet me downstairs. Okay, then. Cassie. Cassie, get up. Cassie. slept that good in like forever well i'm glad you had a nice sleep um come on doctor there's, there's breakfast and then we're going somewhere Ooh, where we'll just have to find out come on Laurie's down there oh my god not fair hey guys hey rihanna so uh could you maybe tell us what we're doing today now yeah what are we doing well, I wanted to keep this a secret till after breakfast, but since Larry had the last bowl of cereal, and you guys are so excited, I'll just tell you now. We are going hunting! Wait, what? Hunting? Hunting? I've never been hunting before! I thought so. <laughs> I don't think it's really that safe for me and Cassie to come along. We're inexperienced. That's why I'm bringing you guys home with me. I'm teaching you. Um, okay. I'll go. Awesome! Larry, are you gonna tag along? Only to make sure you idiots don't blow each other's head off. What, like you almost did to my sister? Well, maybe you, both of you, cut it out. <laughs> Grab the shotgun, will ya? Alright, guys, come on. Alright, you see that bird over there? Do what I taught you. Aim, breathe, fire. Wow, nice shot, Cassie. <laughs> That's right, you're a natural at this. <laughs> Alright, Travis, it's your turn. Dog, okay. Wait, so I pick it up like this, right? Uh huh. You're doing good. Here, lift it up a bit. Okay. You see that mouse over there? That fire. I did it. <laughs> nice job. Now both of you go collect your prey. <laughs> Not too bad of a job, kid. <laughs> uh, thanks. <laughs> uh, Brianna, come check out. What's wrong, Travis? Bree! What? Yeah. <laughs> Bree! No!
can't end up like Billy. You can't end up like her. You can't. You. I didn't. Travis! Kathy, get back. You two. You two. You two are the ones who caused all this. If you would have never came to my house, this wouldn't have happened. Larry? Please. Oh, what's wrong? Looks like you don't have Brianna to defend you anymore. I'm gonna venture. I'm gonna venture. Cassie, go! You can't run forever. Keep going. Travis, what do we do? Oh god, okay. We'll, we'll go around for, for a weapon, okay? There's no weapon in here! Come on. Oh god, there has to be something in one of these doors, please. <gasps> yes! Oh god, he's coming. Okay, get behind the dresser now. What are you gonna do? Get behind the dresser! <laughs> I found you. No! I promise. Now please, just go! Okay, Travis, come on! Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, Travis! 